Hi right, guys and welcome to another section of my Cisco exam practice questions. So today we're looking at TCP IP protocols. First up we have which protocol is responsible for converting a logical address to a physical address? In this instance, uh, TCP is the protocol with the, uh, involved with the transmission of data. IP is just instant protocol. ICMP involves pinging, which leaves us with D, ARP. ARP is uh, the network layer that uh, converts the IP address to a MAC address so that router can talk to the switch and vice versa. 56, the ARP request is sent to which of the following layer 2 destination addresses? Now layer 2 means switch, so if we look at B, that is a layer 3 uh, IP address dealing with routers. Uh, so the other three are MAC addresses which deal on the switch. As the ARP is a broadcast message, uh, that means A is the answer all the Fs, uh, which represents a broadcast message. 57, what are the three phases of the TCP three-way handshake? So when there's an initial connection, there's got to be certain processes to take place in order for communication to get underway. In this case, this is just a rote one to learn. It is B, SYN, ACK, then SYN, acknowledge. It's the uh, three-way handshake, computer A to computer B, computer B sends a message of acknowledgement and then computer A since acknowledgement of the B's acknowledgement. 58, which of the following does TCP use to guarantee delivery? So the way TCP does this is through sequence numbers and acknowledgements. So TCP assigns each message, which is also known as a segment uh, sequence number. And then once they receive all of them, they uh, receive, the, receive them in order and then they acknowledge and let uh, let the sender know that it has been received. 59, what TCP IP protocols is responsible for logical addressing and routing functions? And if we look at this logical addressing and routing functions, that's the layer three, and I was talking about it before, IP seems to be on layer three. TCP is just another a protocol to facilitate the uh, passage of communication. And UDP is an unreliable Connection. It's kind of the sister of TCP, ICMP is, isn't related to that, so it's IP. Question 60, which transport layer protocol is responsible for unreliable delivery? Kind of gave this one away just before. UDP is the correct answer for this one. So they don't actually track whether or not uh, things reach its destination. It's kind of like receiving a mail a letter without actually knowing about it. 61, which TCP IP protocol is responsible for error and status reporting? Well, TCP and IP, are, it represents a protocol, so it can't be those. UDP is just a delivery mechanism. So that leaves us with C, ICMP, and that's basically responsible for reporting any errors and runs the network layer. Question 62, the router looks at which field in the IP header to decide where to send the packet. Source IP address, destination IP address. So we're referring to IP header, so it has to be IP. And we are the source because we're sending it. So that would mean it would be the destination IP address. 63, what flags are set on the second phase of the freeway handshake? In this instance, uh, ACK slash SYN is the correct answer. That's the second phase of it. And the system acknowledges it's received the other system SYN message but it also sends its own to our verify. 64, which flag is set in a TCP packet that indicates a previous packet was received? So in layman's terms, when we're letting someone know, say hello to someone, if they acknowledge you said hello, they will respond back. So the way they know that you've sent a message, or that the sender knows that you've received the message is that you responded back to them. So ACK, that's a nice little world example there. Question 65, you wish to allow each echo, allow echo request messages to pass through the firewall. What ICMP type is used in an echo request message? Again, this is another one of those rote learning questions. So it's type 8. ICMP type 8 is used for echo requests. 66, which of the following are fields found in the IP header? Select all that apply. It's a matter of reading the Cisco textbook, finding out information on this. It's basically eliminating what isn't part of it, and then knowing what is part of the IP header, and then 
that being answer. In this case, it is source IP address and time to live. 67, which of the following are considered application layer protocols? So we've got TCP, which is involved in the transmission. IP is layer three. F FTP could be a chance. ICMP is another protocol related to ping. Is FTP that it deals with file transfer and that is uh, part of the application layer. 68, which transport layer protocol is responsible for reliable delivery? And as we've seen before, UDP is not that. IP is a standard. ICMP isn't exactly a delivery mechanism. So that leaves us with TCP. D, so that's responsible for reliable delivery. UDP is not. 69, what, what ICMP type is used by the echo reply message? And again, this is one of those rote answers. You just have to know it. And that is type zero. The answer is A, and obviously the other one is eight. And number 70, the security administrator for your network has asked you, asked that you block ping messages from entering your network. What protocol would you block? I mean, basically saying the whole time, ICMP is dealing with uh, pinging, so it's basically the protocol which is used by the ping command. And the last one for today, which TCP flag is responsible for dropping a connection at any point in time? RST is the answer here. It's also known as a reset flag, and it can drop it at any given time. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, these practice questions and you've got a bit more knowledge with our TCP IP protocols. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it around and subscribe as well. It'll be fantastic. Don't forget to watch my other videos as well. Plenty more coming along. And thanks for hanging around, guys. I'll catch you all next time.